Yo, what is up guys? Before we get to the main video, I want to show you this cool little glitch I found. So, if you've watched my tumble buff video, you can see that you can put strong magic shield on a sword. But what I didn't know is if you buff it invisible and keep taking the ring on and off, it just keeps playing the audio clip. Like, this isn't trick audio. Y'all should try this. Well, I will admit, putting strong magic shield on a sword is probably the hardest tumble buff since there's such a delay to the buff, but we'll get it eventually. Just keep trying. It takes me forever to do it. And then, another thing this lets you do is its next level edge. I mean, if you come slow walking into the arena fight like that, that's, that's how you slay puss, basically. I mean, that's how you were made. Your dad came walking out like that. So, let's get back to the main video of how to track jump attack. Alright, before we learn how to track a jump attack, we're going to go over some requirements. Now, this is a move I would say is originally mine. I've shown a lot of good players of this, and everybody is kind of amazed at how it works. I would just kind of just abuse as a mechanic of the game. And so I'm going to say it's mine. I mean, it could be Scrubby McBack steps. I don't know. But as for me, I think it's one of my original moves. And so let's go over some requirements. So, one, you're going to need balls. I mean, you are leaving yourself open, but you know, great risk, great reward sort of deal. So you're going to have to have a good read of your player, you know, the guy you're going against, to, like, know the correct one to use this. But it does leave you open, I will admit. I mean, right here, I'm going to back step into him. He could force an attack on me, but again, he thinks he's going to juke around and hit me. Or is it just turn me around and I got the hit? Another thing you're going to need, this one's probably even more important, is good finger manipulation, or GFM, <laughs> as I like to call it. It, uh... You're reverse backstepping at someone, and you're hitting, and you know, you gotta reverse backstep back to the other person, and you gotta pull the jump attack. So, I've shown a lot of people this, and that's one complaint I get, is just not even being able to do it. So, practice a lot before you start doing this in a fight, just to get the, you know, the movements. And yeah, that sums it up for about requirements. I, uh... I could add some smart ass requirements, like you'll need a controller and fingers or, you know, shit like that, but, you know, y'all get what I'm saying, you know, it's, it's, take some balls to do this, because you are leaving yourself open, and it, it is tricky to do it, like, it's like all the finger inputs, so, let's go into implications, and how do I do it more technically, and when do I do it, because those are probably the bigger things you're gonna need to know. Alright, so let's go over just how do I do this in depth. So you want to back step locked off as soon as you get your back turned around to your opponent or whatever you're attacking, lock on and perform the jump attack as soon as you lock on. So watch, the back step and then locked on jump attack like that quick. Make sure you, you lock on before you jump attack as well. So. Lock on, back step, lock on, jump attack. And I'd say practice on PvE like this just to get a feel for how to do it and get good, like, fluently, get your good GFM, if you know what I mean. And just work on that first before you start in a real fight. But practice doing it and hitting something as far away as you can so you can get that. That'll really throw people off in the fight, if you know what I mean. Like, they just won't expect to get hit from that far away because this lets you jump far all right so once you get just doing this down let's go over how to make it track or how to force a track out of it so I'm not even sure what causes it to do this but basically whenever you get up close to someone like you you're backwards face to them and you're right up on their body doing this right on top of them will force a track especially if they go to attack you where you just were or I don't even know like it like let's say I back step into someone and then cause the jump attack and then they, they roll the other way or way it will track them around if you do it just right just watch Okay, so here's another way you can use the reverse turnaround jump, or whatever you want to call it. Whenever you're fighting a passive piece of shit backstepping warp sword user like this, 
it'll just throw him off. Like, he just did not time his shit right right there, because it's just so weird. And especially, like, you're seeing my end of this, but when someone else does this, it just looks weird on the screen. Like, it just really, like, contorts your figure and just flips you around. It looks weird. And this isn't just for bad players. Like, this is for fighting good players, too. So, here's a clip. This next one is of Scrubby Solaire, which... He's one of the better players out there, and he's really good with a longsword. And I'm using the crypt in this fight, so here's how I was able to handle him by just pulling off a nice reverse jump. So it's pretty straightforward most of this fight. I really wasn't caring if he hit me that much, I was just mainly focused on attack. Like, I'm usually focused more on dodging as well, but in this I was just trying to play offense. Like, I just wanted to hit him, you know? I figured if I got a good trade in there, he was due for probably two hits. So, I'm just playing straight up right now. He's doing really good. He's doing out some nice stand swaps. That two-hand power attack, the one-hand power attack stand swap. It looks pretty good. But I get a nice hit there. And then, what you'll see coming up is just a nicely timed back step into his thing. I get the last bit of my iframes in, which is right up here. I back step perfectly into that, and it gives me enough time to get the trade. So that was that was good. And then, another thing, since I like playing unexpectedly, and I just threw off this weird delayed attack and get that final hit, so... See, that's the reason you can use a good... This attack and even, like, a, you know, an upper end fight against somebody. It just has a lot of implications, so... Don't... Don't just think it's for fighting noobs. That's just what I'm trying to get at there. It's... It can be good all around, too, so... And another reason you might want to use this, and this is a really cool one, it, it is great for wake-ups, too, like... It's hard to get the timing for a wake up, but as you'll see up here, I straight wake up. Like you just reverse backs up into them after you backstab parry or something, and it just smashes their ass into the ground. <laughs> Alright guys, so I think that just about covers it. I mean, I've gone over what you need to do, how you do it, you know, and some other tips I could give is just practice on your PvE, you know, just learning how to do the reversing around jump attacking, because, I mean, I screw up the, you know, the combination of doing it sometimes, like, it's not an easy thing to do, so, and then, you know, another thing is practice with a friend about your skill level, I mean, it really will help when it comes down to it, and, yeah, I think that just about covers it, guys, I, uh, been wanting to make this video for a while, I mean, people have been asking me, like, how do you track around a jump attack, I get that question asked quite a bit, and, it just awes most of the people I show, and I've really been wanting to make this, so t today's the day, you know? So, be sure to leave a comment of, you know, what you think, or if you're not getting something, I'll happily answer any of it. I mean, I'm just glad to help and show people Dark Souls, I love getting people into it, and yeah guys, thanks for watching, and have a good day.